This is high biomass sorghum that was planted in central Arizona at the beginning of July 2010. It was planted for the purpose to see how this sorghum might thrive in the summer heat of Arizona. Uh, it's been in the ground about four and a half, almost five months. Uh, it appears to be about 12 to 15 feet high. We've taken quite a bit of test data on it. Uh, it's currently got about 60% moisture in the stalks. And what we've done is we've actually laid down, we cut a portion of this sorghum about a week ago. And you can see that coming up here on the right side that we've laid down a portion of it to dry, which is part of the testing. We'll be picking up that portion and chopping it and putting it into a trailer for transportation for burn testing. You can see that section that has been cut down about a week ago. The remaining sections of the field are going to stay standing uh, for another month, month and a half or so. We'll see how long it will continue to stand before it lays down itself just due to natural wind. That will be part of the testing process. It appears we're going to get about 15 to 18 tons of dry material per acre. We've got about a four and a half acre plot planted here of this high biomass sorghum. It's produced from seeds from a company called Ceres. And this crop is obviously uh, engineered, uh, not as any type of feed for cattle or humans. It's been engineered to grow basically cellulosic uh, content, which is a wood content. It has fairly thick stalks and the result is a much higher concentration of woody material which is good for consumption. Its BTU content is uh, higher than most forms of regular wood again because due to its engineering component uh, it's been tested by the University of Texas, Texas A&M Agriculture Center. They're the ones that initiated part of this uh, seed process and some of the testing that we've done this year will show whether uh, it can serve as a uh, uh, desert-based bioenergy crop to be used for uh, combustion and supporting of a biomass generation facility. Biomass sorghum, even though it was planted in the middle of the hot Arizona summer, required only about three and a half acre feet of water to produce a 12 to 15 foot stalk, which is considerably less than the adjoining field here, which is a milo. It took about four and a half acre feet of water to grow. And on the other side of this field is a cotton field that required about five and a half acre feet of water to grow. So even in the heat of the summer desert sun, this actually was a crop that took uh, 20 to 25 percent less water to achieve its full potential than some of the neighboring crops. That's a good sign for wanting to support a, a crop in, in this heat, in this desert climate. Uh, it is uh, water, it, it doesn't consume a lot of water, it doesn't take more water than some of the competitive crops that may want to be grown during this in this area and on this particular land. Okay, this is our first pass at harvesting. <laughs> 